Paper chair project is part of the structures unit. What the kids are asked to do is build a structure out of one material, and that material is paper. They are required to um, build a chair that meets six different criteria. The first thing we do is we evaluate the chairs. We have six categories, cost, board, board, portability, durability, aesthetics, comfort, and strength. That's uh, an amazing chair. And that chair hits the ground and it just almost knocks the table over it. So we're going to try to pick it up by ace cushion. Go by that is a bad, um, bad, bad. If I go like this, this thing's also going to end up coming off. So right now I know I have a durability issue with that one. A hands-on project like this, allows kids to see real-world problems and how they're tackled. It ends up being this non-ending process of, of struggling and, and, and trying to succeed, but it's also more than that. A real-world problem is, is something where you can take inspiration and, and, um, and really push yourself to go way beyond just the narrow limits of, of what, the, of what the, the, the assignment is. Oranges! A chair in a different section that was really elegant and it really pushed the boundaries of what was possible with the materials. They had long tapered legs and um, and um, a design, a pattern of design that that I've never seen before. It was a failure from a structural standpoint, but I think those girls learned so much through the process and they took so many risks. They weren't worried about just. Um, having a successful chair um, and they what they were trying to do is they were trying to take the structure pr structural principles that they had learned and they were trying to push them to the absolute um, their absolute maximum capabilities when something fails you, rather than having them just sweep it aside and disgust and that's their tendency it's the human tendency you know I try to stop them and say okay why did it fail? Let's just take the pieces that are broken. Let's just try to stand them back up again, and we'll start to look at, you know, we try to look at, oh, there was a bad joint. There was a, a weak leg. There was um, um, a, a side of the chair that wasn't braced with um, any triangular um, uh, shapes. And but this is fun. So this is your second chair? Yep. Before we made our prototype. Don't do this. We had two epic failures before. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. You're all To me, the paper chair is a way for kids to get their hands and their minds wrapped around ideas and, and explore on their own with the, you know, the interaction of a teacher who can support them and help them to, um, to slow down, to, to um, take a mental snapshot of something that went on, that, that happened, to examine a decision a little bit more closely, um, to um, uh, help them to brainstorm together more effectively. Um, to help them to tease out the, um, you know, the solutions that they might actually have in their own minds.